Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Again, a really important CCNA and CCNP video boot camp for you here today. And it's not a skill that you may necessarily use on the exams, but it really comes in handy when you're starting a home lab. And it's a skill you're going to have to have in production networks sooner or later. And it's a seemingly simple operation. All we want to do is copy a config from a Cisco router, put it in Notepad, and then take it back from, say, Notepad and put it back on the router. So there's not one absolute correct way to do this. Depending on what terminal emulator software you run, you may have other options. But I want to show you the way that I've always done it. It's a good, quick way to do it. Now let's say that you have this config. And you got a couple of screens of config. I'll just go all the way to, the, way to the bottom there. But let's say that you want to copy this entire thing from, say, uh, service timestamps debug uptime on. Really good quick way to do it is just to right click and bring up mark and select that. Now nothing's going to happen automatically. Now what you do is left click and drag the mouse over the area that you want to copy. So you don't have to copy the entire thing. If you just wanted your BGP config here, you could just drag it the area right over that. But in this case, I've gone ahead and copied the entire thing. Now I've released the left part of the mouse. I'm not left clicking anymore. So now that I've highlighted what I want to copy, how do I copy it? All you do is right click over that area that you just highlighted. And whatever you had highlighted or selected in that way is going to be copied. Now let's go ahead and bring Notepad up here. I'm going to get rid of a, the config I had there earlier. So now how do I paste a Notepad? Just the same way you'd paste anything else. You know, you just right click and select paste. You could do a control V uh, and that'll paste it as well. Now, let's say that you've been a great network admin, very careful. You are going to work on this config on your lab or in a production network and you copied the config and now you want to put it back over the changes that you made. You really want to start over again. So how are you going to do that? You could just do a select all here in notepad and then just copy. Now, how do we put it back on here? Well, we just do a paste and all of a sudden we get all this stuff. This is a good tea shooting question too. Why is this happening? And boy, the first time this happens, it can really panic you because it certainly did me <laughs> a long time ago. Uh, first time I had my home lab started, I was just like, oh man, I can't even copy to a router. What am I going to do? So it happens to everybody, but when you get line after line after line of invalid output, uh, it can really make you panic a little bit, or a lot. So, what in the world was wrong up here at the very beginning? I was in the wrong config mode. You've got to be in conf t mode, or configure mode, of course, to uh, put this config on. So if I do that, and now I paste it, it's going to run and it's going to run correctly. Notice I'm not getting all those invalid messages now. That's the one little thing you got to watch out for. So what a lot of admins will do is this. When you save a config, what you can always do is just put a quick enable and a conf t at the top. And that will solve your problem. That will that will prevent that from happening. Uh, but again, if that happens to you, whether it's in a lab, whether it's in a production network, don't worry about it. You didn't really break anything. It's just the config you copied did not apply. So just get it in the right configuration mode, and all will be well. That's today's CCNA and CCNP video bootcamp. I hope you enjoyed it. We've got hundreds more on YouTube, and I hope you'll subscribe to my feed out there because we've got Security Plus, Network Plus and videos for the new CCNA security, wireless, and voice certifications that are coming out in September of 2012. We're going to start attacking those with videos very soon. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm Chris Bryant, and thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.